two cutting edge AI platforms. One, Ultimate Showdown. Which one really delivers? On the left, ChatGPT, the conversational intelligence powerhouse with video magic. And on the right, Pika Labs, effortless AI video creation made for creators. Let's skip the buzzwords and get to the real stuff. Each category earns points, and at the end, you'll see exactly who comes out on top. The result might not be what you expect. Before we get into the nitty gritty, let's map it out. These two go head to head on core function, video generation quality, ease of use, features, pricing, and use cases. Think of this as the cheat sheet for the rest of the video, so you know exactly what matters before you choose. So kicking things off, core function. Let's talk ChatGPT first. Obviously, this thing is a world-class conversational assistant. And Sora? That's OpenAI's video engine that lets you generate really, really impressive clips just by typing out a prompt. For text, chat, images, it's all smooth. Still, video access is kinda limited based on where you are and which plan you're on, so heads up there. Real-time video editing is, uh, not really a thing right now. Switching to Pika Labs, this one's all about video. Seriously, you just drop in your text. It spits out video fast. Tons of templates, custom assets if you want, plus decent editing features built right in. But, and it's kinda obvious, there's zero conversational AI stuff here. Both have their quirks, but for overall function, it's a tie. No clear winner yet. Now, let's talk about video generation quality, because this is the stuff you're actually going to share. Sora on ChatGPT does up to 20 seconds, and some clips look almost cinematic, like some real Hollywood vibes if you nail your prompt. Sometimes, though, it's a bit hit or miss, and multi-clip editing? Still a work in progress. Plus, not everyone gets access, which, let's be real, is kind of a bummer. Pika Labs punches back with 1080p HD, yep, the new version, solid motion and character consistency, and advanced controls like peak effects and peak additions. These actually let you tweak scenes, kind of like a pro editor. The clips are shorter, think 7 to 15 seconds, and sometimes the output looks more animated than real. But for everyday creators, the consistency is a win. Winner here, Pika Labs takes it. Let's talk ease of use, because nobody wants to spend hours learning some clunky interface, right? ChatGPT is basically the gold standard for chatting, generating images, and basic prompts. It's as easy as texting a friend. For Sora, though, if you're not on the right plan or region, video features may be locked. And honestly, that's kind of annoying. Pika Labs, though, this one's built for creators and regular folks. Think drag and drop, preset actions super clear dashboard. All those extra effects have a bit of a curve, but the basics are straightforward. For getting up and running quickly, Pika Labs wins. No contest. Oh, and here's something wild. Did you know that Pika Labs' latest model lets you literally morph video scenes and drop in custom objects up to 1080p HD just by describing what you want? That's some next level video magic happening right now. On to features and customization. Okay, ChatGPT gives you prompt-based creation, even integrates audio and music sometimes through stuff like VO. But if you want to manage assets, stock photos, clips, that's all outside the platform. Actual video editing, pretty minimal. Pika Labs flips the script. You get pacing controls, transitions, morph frames, ready-to-go templates for social, even integrating outside assets straight in. It's best for short-form content, though, since longer clips are capped. But honestly, for Instagram or TikTok, it rocks. So again, Pika Labs pulls ahead. Pricing and plans. Who doesn't want to save a buck or two, right? ChatGPT is technically free for chat and simple images. If you want to play with Sora for video, it's locked behind the plus plan. Expect to drop $20 per month. And only some users currently get full access. Not ideal if you're new. And commercial pricing? Still not clear. Pika Labs is way more transparent. Free plan with daily refills of video credits, kinda addictive, then paid tiers unlock better quality and volume, plus commercial use if you're next level. You will need paid plans if you're making tons of videos, but for most people, this is a solid setup. So, yep, Pika Labs wins pricing. All right. Use cases. ChatGPT is a beast for writing, coding, brainstorming ideas, 
marketing, and exploring new concepts. With Sora, you can whip up quick video promos or draft campaign concepts, but more involved video projects still need some manual editing. Pika Labs, straight up built for content creators. Marketing, social posts, education, you name it. It's awesome for product showcases, influencer vids, basically anyone who wants to make something eye-catching in just a few minutes. Both handle their side of things really well. So in terms of actual use cases, it's a tie. So let's zoom out for a sec and look at the big picture. If you put all these categories on a chart, you'd see Pika Labs leading in most video specific areas. Higher quality, better customization, easier pricing. ChatGPT keeps up for multimodal AI and conversation, but it's held back by video access and deeper editing. When it comes to AI video creation, Pika Labs is the heavy hitter here. So my honest take, if you want top tier conversation and multimodal content with videos as a bonus, ChatGPT is still a game changer. But if you're all about crafting AI videos, tweaking effects, and not messing around with subscriptions and complex setup, Pika Labs is the go-to for 2025. Your pick totally depends on what you want more, chat genius or pure video power. Hey, if you found this breakdown helpful, let me know what you want to compare next. Smash that suggestion box below and I'll dig into it.